Okay guys, I'm about to show you what I did. Uh, it's the next day again. And uh, pretty crazy, but I don't know why. We I was really struggling with this shifter ball because the connector, the wire actually decided to break off of the connector. And then I was trying, last night I was trying to like fix it and just ended up getting another connector. And right now I fixed it up. So I'm about to show you. Um, looks really awesome and like I said we did we did a bunch of cleanup on the center console itself so it looks really good and uh, right here there's so there's uh, I still have to do some work I'm gonna mark this wire so um, I'm gonna say that this is for the uh, this is the ground because um, this bulb for the shifter had a bad ground so I had to actually use a ground off of one of the other wires um, and I have to put some electrical tape onto these uh, butt connectors. But anyways, let's go ahead and test it out. There you go. See that? Amazing. This is all fixed up. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. And hopefully, and I'm pretty sure the owner is going to be excited as well. So time to clean up and time to wrap up this shifter job. But it, it's a polisher and then a compound. You, Cause you don't want a bunch of stuff sticking to it. Yeah. But it looks super nice. Yeah, it took a long time to polish it, but I'm pretty it's happy with it. You said like table. four hours or something, huh? Four hours. Yeah, of it looks so nice. Very fine sa sandpaper and uh, also substances. Yep. Very nice. Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish this thing. Shifter bulb ground, that's the I got. I just found this tape, so at least I can mark that wire and that shouldn't be there, you know. Yeah, should I put Vito's garage here too? Oh yeah. <laughs> should I? Sure. Ah, oh, uh, you you're gonna be exposed. <laughs> Maybe Don't I should. Show them the, the hives of uh, the wasp hives that came Oh yeah. Through. So one thing we did yesterday, which we also like, it took us a while because. This mirror was ordered from Lithuania in Europe, right? And when we took it off, took the mirror out for maintenance, we found these goodies in there. They were just bouncing around for who knows how many years, but they were literally behind this mirror. But if you look at this mirror right now, like it works amazing. Like it used to be frozen too, but right now when I move it, it's nice and good, like new, cool stuff. So what do you think? Are you actually uh, going to uh, put a, or install a passenger uh, mirror as well or no? I am. You're going I to? A, yeah, I have a, one uh, waiting to be installed. Okay. For the cool. Yeah, guys, just so you know, this car came with no passenger mirror. Just blank. So. Yeah. Okay, we'll grease this up. The panels are back. Amazing. Oh yeah, everything is tight, everything good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Woohoo! We got a shifter light working now, finally. 
Nice. What? It started shifting amazing now. That's Wait just a minute. my foot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, you took it off of the no, pedal? No, or? just uh, oh, yeah. not being uh, Damn, crazy with it. Yeah. When we take it out on the Gotcha, road, gotcha, road. gotcha. Sure. Maybe we can try to fix your uh, tachometer too. There is an issue with that. It so, uh, never worked? It never worked. Well, I played around with it. And yeah. That's cool. Such a smooth car, man. Yeah, I love the, the feel. It's like yeah. a really boaty feel. I need one of these cars. Everyone needs I one. need them all. <laughs> I'm glad you got this car. I mean, it fits you well. I mean, you always take care of things and yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of you can uh, make yourself happy, you know, each other happy. Many more years in this car. Oh yeah, another hundred years at least. Yeah, that okay, yeah, there. it's still there. It's a lot better though. It's better. We'll take it here on the highway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it needs an adjustment because when it flares. Well, that was a super smooth ride. Gotta tell you that. So right now we're gonna go and work on the 123 and this one is just gonna be parked for right now. I love your uh, LED bulbs like on the plates. That's so nice. Yeah. Bright. Super bright. Did you put these as LEDs as well? No. It looks really bright. It's so nice. Just yeah, clean cool. headlights. It's or clean. Clean, uh, clean that. Yeah, that makes a difference. I put LED in the trunk too. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, uh, that right there. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's get going. Let's do a work to this car. We just took out these seats because we have really nice seats for it we'll install. Um, but before doing that, this will obviously get all cleaned up and vacuum. All right, guys, so while uh, Alexei is uh, finishing cleaning that area, um, I'm gonna be installing the uh, brand new seals for the taillights. All right, so this is one of them that he got. Uh, it's actually brand new and original. Um, made in Germany, good stuff. So I'm about to remove this taillight, already started taking it apart. It's not that hard. Uh, just uh, six millimeter screws. Um, or I'm sorry, eight millimeter screws. There's about six of them. So take those off. Okay, so we have the taillight out. And just have to push it out. Um, and then you have the seal. So then you just grab a screwdriver and carefully um, peel the seal out. The new one is ready to go. Before we install it, we're probably gonna put 
silicone paste on that thing just so it stays lubricated because you know nobody else will ever go back to this and lubricate it so might as well just do it right now saturate that thing in silicone paste and now Lily, you just grab this stuff and peel it gotta find a spot where it's the easiest to make the seal come out there's an opening see it's all engineering why do you Ooh, think that very nice yeah you see that smooth and then that's it. it goes all the way around okay that's the old gasket seal give it a good tear see how durable it is yeah yeah i mean it's it doesn't take too much to break it actually you see Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna try it on a new one, so <laughs> <laughs> That's the that would have been a fiasco. Just no seals. Oh man, no seals. Just just slap a lot of uh, silicone sealant in there. But yeah, so right now what you want to do is just clean around, make sure like all the old gasket is off. You know, make sure that this this groove is perfectly clean. All right. Special surgery for the taillights. <laughs> brushing your teeth. Restoration, brushing teeth, yeah. You forgot the Colgate. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, so now we're gonna grab our fluid film. We're gonna fluid film this area right there. Amazing stuff. Make sure this is all protected from rust. Good stuff. Ooh -hoo. Okay guys, so this is a brand new seal. Uh, so what I'm doing now is putting, uh, just saturating it in silicone paste. That way it can stay nice and good forever. It will never dry rot. So as you can see, I'm doing the same thing all the way around. All right. That's Vito it. loves his grease. <laughs> I'm a grease man. And then I'm gonna grab this freshly cleaned taillight and we are going to install this seal. Oh man, hopefully that grease doesn't get onto your taillight. <laughs> I can Whoa. clean it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we'll have to clean it a little more after that because of this stuff, but yeah. Install it, press it in. Like so. Pretty sure a lot of people don't know about replacing this seal. Yeah. They don't even know that there's a seal there. Yep. And that's where a lot of this is this causes uh water leaks inside your trunk. Any classic Mercedes to be honest with you. And any old car, like all cars, they have daylight seals. Might as well check that. All right, so that's all ready to go. And we're gonna install it after I wipe off my gloves from this damn grease. All right, we put the hubcaps on. This is how the car looks now. Totally different, a huge transformation. Now, <clears throat> we've replaced these seats with pretty much, I would say brand new seats. Um, it looks amazing. This car literally looks like new right now. And, you know, when you open the door of this amazing car, you're like, you know, wow, look at this. It just needs to have interior conditioned ASAP with leather conditioner and it's gonna be good. And then I'm pretty sure the owner is gonna take out these carpets in the future and repaint them with Palomino color. And this car will literally be like new on the inside. And it really good, it looks really good on the outside as well. I mean, the owner has put a lot of love to this car um, throughout the years of owning it, you know. Um, he bought it, it was in really bad shape, poor shape, and uh, he has done so much stuff to it. Front suspension, right? Everything. Everything done. So much stuff, yeah, so. Amazing. What else do we have left for tonight? The sunroof, yeah. All right, let's open it up.
Hold on, stop a second. Stop, 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 stop. And I'll come outside, look at this. Oof. <laughs> it's good to have a second set of eyes, you know? Wow, that thing look, works so smooth, I think. It's really good, yeah. You gotta add some more grease probably to it. Oh, I know you're gonna go crazy. Yeah, with crazy. Woohoo! Copyright. Ooh. <laughs> Garbage. Like Is that plastic? No. Plastic. Uh, I need a magnet to figure out what material it's made out of. Gold. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So what you do is like the same on the outside, on the other side. So just pour it right in here, mm -hmm. and then see if it drains out. Oop! Careful. Now it should hear a drain out. Okay, that's draining here, on that yeah. side. What about this side? No. Is it slow or is it just... No, there's nothing. Nothing? Okay, try to pour more into that corner. A left front corner. You can get more. Never too much water. But it could be clogged because my... Uh, yeah? During the car wash and okay, yeah, it's probably clogged then. Good idea to check right now, so and to make sure whether it's. You know, I haven't opened this in like a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is not draining. It's completely clogged. Only the rear yeah. is draining. Yeah. Right there. Okay, well, in that case, there's garbage in there, so uh, there are a few methods. Either yeah, the best one's probably just compressor or a piece of wire, but you would need a long one though. 1 a.m., we're still working. It's crazy. Only us can do that. Who else is up? <laughs>